Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. Welcome back. It's 545 on this uh, Friday morning. Cool breezes will continue for today. Very similar to what we had yesterday. Tonight, once those winds go calm under clear skies, we've got a very cold night ahead. You'll be waking up to low 20s tomorrow morning, but your extended forecast remains very, very dry. Unfortunately, we could actually use some rain here, but it's not going to happen. Spe certainly today with very dry air overhead. We've got 30s out there this morning as we roll through the afternoon. It's nothing but sunshine, high temperatures on track for low 50s, but when you factor in that northeast uh, northwest breeze, it's actually going to feel like the 40s all day long and the wind will be a little bit stronger out at our area waterways here. So we have a lake wind advisory for all of the counties shaded in that tan color all the way through 4 p.m. this afternoon. Right now you've got your current numbers holding in the upper 30s and low 40s for you folks in Evans and Martinez now at 44, 38 degrees for Edgefield in our southern community. Similar story 39 Swainsboro, 44 degrees right now for Sylvania right at 42 in the Garden City. Southwest winds right now at about 10 to 15 miles per hour and will likely increase as we go through the day, but we're looking at those wind chills right now or feels like temperatures hovering in the middle 30s right now. So bundle up, grab the jackets before you head out this morning. Very chilly air is now overspread the entire southeast region, but we actually have a cold front that is on the way. It's going to be sliding through our area right about sunrise this morning, and then as we go through the day, it's going to be sort of a reinforcing shot of cold air. Northwest winds behind it as high pressure builds in, but once those winds go calm and that high moves right on top of us, that's going to set the stage for a very frigid night ahead. Perhaps one of the coldest nights we've had all winter long. We'll look for maybe just a few high clouds to the weekend and then yet another push of cool air arriving late on Sunday. So you're going to see those temperatures sort of go up and down a little bit over the next couple of days. Hey, we're also tracking the weather out at the New Orleans for the Super Bowl 58 degrees out there and the Big Easy a great evening for football. Of course, it's going to be held under the Superdome. Here's your look at your local forecast. We've got highs in the upper 50s, low 60s, morning low tomorrow 22. And of course, keep in mind tomorrow's Groundhog Day. Then mm -hmm. we'll look for just a few passing clouds through the work week ahead. Highs will eventually warm up into the low to mid 60s. Guys. All right. Thank you, Ed. No problem. Coffee Club time on 